Man, I'm excited about what I've got to show you guys today. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So I'm really excited about what I have today. These are the Patriot Viewpoint goggles. These come from uh, an amazing company down in Florida, Magnifying America. It's run by the Palmer family. I've gotten to know them recently and just a, a great family. And they were kind enough to let me try these out for a short time and do this video for you. So you probably notice that these look very familiar. And in fact, they are very similar to the Iris Vision. If you guys remember, if you've watched my channel, you know that the Iris Vision has worked the best for me out of all the things I've tried, and I've tried quite a bit of things, <laughs> quite a bit of devices, they have worked the best for me. And the Patriot Viewpoint is a very similar design. So speaking of design, let's take a look at it a little more closely. This utilizes a Samsung Galaxy S8 phone paired up with a Samsung Gear VR headset. So this uses the power of the Galaxy S8 phone and the camera to magnify everything around you and puts it on these little screens right here, right in front of your eyes. The greatest thing about that kind of design and why it works so well for me is because you, you have this huge field of view, much bigger than some of these other devices like eSight and the screens are completely enclosed in the goggles here. So when you're wearing it, you're not getting any of this ambient light around you leaking in, making it hard to see the screens. So it's super bright and very vibrant screens in there, really easy to see. Another nice feature of the Patriot Viewpoint is they've streamlined the controls. On the side here, you have a couple buttons, just a few buttons and a touchpad. And that's it, that's all you need to control this device. You have one button that changes the different color contrast modes. So the black and white, inverted, black and yellow, blue and yellow, all those color contrast modes that we're all very familiar with. <laughs> the second button here is really cool, really special. It's a feature that separates this from some of its other competitors out there. This actually will take a picture of a document and then read it to you. So this has built-in OCR. Now, when you're in live view, you can use this very large square touchpad on the side here to magnify as well as brighten the screen. This allows you to bring distant objects really close to you, see that very small detail on things far away. I always say it's a lot like having electronic binoculars. It works very similar to that, but you can also use that for seeing things up close. So say you have a piece of paper you wanna read, you can zoom in really close on that small text. And if you want to change the color contrast, maybe make it yellow text on a black background because you can see that much better. You can do that and read no problem. But of course, if you are having trouble reading, you can just snap a picture and have the device read it to you. Works really, really well. One more really nice thing about the hardware I'll point out real quick is they've done a really good job of outlining all the important information. So it adds really good high contrast for low vision. So things like this charging port down here on the bottom really pop off and it makes it easy to find. This being a Samsung device, you're gonna have excellent battery life. Definitely be able to use it for several hours, continuous use. But if you need it for longer than that, you can just plug in to that charging port and use this device wired to a charger and then of course theoretically use it all day nonstop. So now I'm wearing the goggles and so you can see how they look. They're not super heavy. That's a question I get all the time. Are these devices heavy? And they're not. You have really good strong straps. The straps connect at three points. So you have a strap that goes around the back of the head and then another strap that goes over the top of your head. So it really holds it on. These straps are adjustable, so they'll fit any size head, even my giant melon. <laughs> then you also have really soft padding around the inside that touches onto your face. So it's super soft and it's, it's no problem to wear this for a long period of time. So as I said, you control the live view by swiping on the touchpad here. I can zoom in. And now if I look at my camera, 
If I zoom all the way in, I can read my camera. I can, I can even read the words around the lens of my camera. <laughs> the screen is actually really bright and the colors are vibrant, which is nice. But if I do need it a little brighter, I can swipe up or down to adjust that. Brightness, 80. Brightness, 90. Brightness, 80. Brightness, 70. And you hear that it gives you audio cues letting you know. That's really cool. That also works when you're changing the color modes. High contrast. Black on white. White on black. Black on yellow. You have several different color modes that you can choose from. But as I said, one of the coolest things about this is the OCR. So we're going to test that right now. I have this pamphlet here. This is just a little manual that comes with the device. But say I have a hard time reading this. I could just zoom in and read this no problem, maybe switch one of the color modes, but I want to try out the OCR. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, hold this at a good distance. And this is where people sometimes have trouble when using devices like this. Maybe they'll be looking down at it at a table and the document is on a slant so the camera can't see it very well or perhaps they are holding it too close and it can only see a small part of the text. You really want to hold it at a good distance. Make sure you can see all the text and then I'm going to press that button, that camera button. Took a picture, it says processing. B. Press to have print read aloud. Colors. Press to change color choices. Zoom increase magnification. Swipe forward. So visually, it's put the text on the screen. I've got it set to the black background with the yellow text, but you can change that just by pressing the different color modes. Black on green. Green on black. Now we're green on black. I can also use the swipe to increase the size of the font on the screen. And what's cool is it makes it bigger, but it also rearranges all the words so you're not cutting off any words. I have a highlight that goes along as it's reading. I can play, I can pause by double tapping. So decrease magnification. Swipe or word. Brighter. If I swipe up or down, I can jump from line to line, which is really cool. Say I'm reading a phone bill and I just need to know how much I owe, I can skip ahead until I find that information. When I'm done, I just press the camera button again, and we're back at live view. Works really, really well. Very responsive. If you get the Patriot Viewpoint, it comes in a nice large box. And then inside that box, you get a carrying case, a hard shell carrying case. Inside that case, you've got a pocket on the lid that can hold your charger as well as the charging brick. You also get a pair of headphones so that you can plug them into the Patriot Viewpoint and then listen to your OCR discreetly so and privately so everybody else around you doesn't have to hear it. Then down at the bottom you get a little strap that holds the device into the case, keeps everything nice and secure. Well there you go guys, this is a quick look at the Patriot Viewpoint brought to us by Magnifying America and the Palmers. Big thank you to them down in Florida for letting me use this for a short time to make this video for you guys. As always if you need more information about this there will be a link in the description that will take you directly to the product page on their website. There you can find pricing information as well as availability. So definitely check that out. And now I know before you guys ask, which is better, Patriot Viewpoint versus Iris Vision? You guys let me know in the comments down below and maybe we'll do a versus video. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know down below. I'll do my best to help out. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future. Thanks again, Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.